Plants face a peculiar challenge, living a sessile life at the will of their surrounding environment. When cast in shadow, plants must stretch towards the light they rely on. Below ground, their roots stretch and branch out to reach nutrient and water sources. This environmental responsiveness, the potential to initiate new shoots and roots, requires the ability to continue developmental programs that we only go through embryonically. When was the last time you sprouted a third arm? Like a gecko losing its tail, plant roots that are cut will regenerate repatterning the remaining tissues to form a new healthy root. Despite the removal of stem cells, which give rise to all other cells of the growing root, the organs are restructured from the site of injury. These instances, where a new root is initiated, ask of cells to turn back in time, to leave their current identity and return to an embryonic-like state. A state that was observed once before within the seed where the root was first made. We observe that the developmental genes responsible for making a root in the embryo are the same genes triggered by root injury. There's something about injury that tells the plant that it's time to turn these processes back on, to return to the start and begin again. Resources that provide energy to the plant are critical for the root's capacity to regenerate. Without the right conditions, the regeneration of an injured root will be far too stressful and the seedling will succumb to its environment, perhaps to be replaced by a competitor, a stronger, better adapted individual. We keep looking at the world because we want to have a deeper understanding of life around us, to challenge and refresh established points of view. We never know what we're going to find out until we get the next slide in.